In life, I wish I was tall, dark, and had tattoos. You see, now look at the infinite money glitch. We went from 300 people, we're at 450, 500, 600. This is 600 people on the website. You know we stay giving y'all free game. Guess what? It's not really free because and this is that. Um, we still sell them, but after the text message, we ended the day with. Uh, I don't want to be Eric 22 with all the fake ass fucking thumbnails and shit. So this video, we're going to actually restructure it. It's going to be how to shoot dope Photoshop products for your brand. And I got the best photographer in the building. Wait, oh, what's happening? What's happening? What's happening? He's a little shy guy. He's a little misunderstood. But you know, you got to be shy and misunderstood to create good art. You can't be a fucking yapper like me. People like me make terrible photos. How long have you been doing this? Probably like eight years now. Eight to ten years, maybe. What do you think about all the photographers that say they're photographers, but they shoot it on auto? I mean, if you, if you can make your art out of that, that's cool. But manual is the right way. It's not really a wrong or right way, but manual is the, the way to make your own art. You gotta understand but, it. You gotta understand the f-stop, the fucking the aperture, the ISO. You gotta understand all that shit to make good art. Because if you don't understand this, that's like cooking without understanding how much salt and pepper and oil to put in your food. You, yeah, you can't really bad. cook. It's gonna be bad. It's gonna be bad. What are you? An idiot sandwich. You're just gonna be cooking on autopilot. That ain't even really cooking. You're just copying. I guess. The one thing about your photo shoots is like, it's not just like the angle or the shot. A lot of it is how you coach the models. How did you get to that point? Really, it's just how, how I would pose in pictures. <laughs> I don't know, like I take pictures of people that I want taken of myself. It comes down to taste. Like me personally, I know what tastes good, but I don't have enough taste to make stuff taste good. That makes sense. I don't know if that makes sense. Bro, what are you talking about? Yeah, it's, it's cool to have inspiration too, you know, to pull from, but it's mainly about what you see as tasteful. It's taste. And uh, early on for me, I realized I had no taste. So I went and hired the guy that did that taste. <laughs> and we get the job done. They get the job done. Every time. Teamwork makes a dream work. Wait till y'all see the next photos. Bro, my boy Nick, man. In life, I wish I was tall, dark, and had tattoos. Because, like, Nick, he makes money just from being cool as f. Me, I gotta run a sweatshop. I gotta fing hire employees. I gotta fing cut boxes. I gotta do all this bullshit to make money. But, like, Nick. It is just natural. How long did it take you? It took you, what, 30 minutes? It was like an hour and 30. That's what pictures and video. So he actually worked. Okay, Nick. I'm not mad at paying you, Nick. I know some models, I'll be paying them and they'd be 30 minutes in and out, but I don't even, I can't even get mad because it's gas. He was on time. On time. Love that. Be on time. Guys, the magic is happening beyond this door right here. And a lot of times, this is when you cut to the Patreon or whatever, the paywall, but we're going to give you guys the free magic. We're going to show you the entire creative process of how Quay is doing this. Cut to the monologue, montage, whatever they call it in the film world. We have Austin, good looking Austin. Start? What's the key to being uh, tall, dark, and tattooed, and handsome? Uh, my mom. <laughs> but uh, I don't know. I'm just trying to be cool like you, bro. Ha, 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 if if you you can you do. What do you? What did you think about some of our sample pieces? Honestly, I feel like from what you guys started with to where you are now, progression is crazy. You guys shot the first ever Solid Basics, fucking the fifteen dollar hoodies and joggers, right? Yeah. And them shit is ass. I'm, we still sell them, but like, but this shit. I'm not gonna lie, quality on these. Crazy. Quality to cut the weight. You should have had the shot when he was wearing them shits with the thermals. Yeah. Bruh, these go crazy. I love those. It's perfect weight. It's a perfect cut. You got a double zip. Wash. I guess we gotta keep the double zip. Folks like the double zip. <laughs> you like the double zip or single zip? I mean, I feel like the single zip is easier, but the uh -huh. double zip goes harder. What's one thing you would do to change the garment or to make it better? It's gonna seem nitpicky, but with the double zipper, if you could just figure out how to. Sometimes I get caught. It's just the zipper anything. quality. They just gotta up the quality of the zippers. Honestly, other than that, I don't think I would change anything. What about the Chewbacca set? Are you coming Chewbacca away this fall winter or what? I'm wearing the whole set. You gotta do the <laughs> for the I camera. I'm telling you, promise. Right what, here. what about these right here? The misunderstood shorts. These are a little crazy, huh? Crazy, but. It would work? Yeah, it would work. I would. I feel like people are gonna pull off a lot of fits in those. Think about all like the crazy boots people have yeah. now. I've seen like the fur little Timu Ricks, yeah, Shein like, Ricks. And I feel like if they get the hoodie with it, you know people still wear shorts with it too. What what is it about Quay that makes him a good photographer? I'm sure you, you work with other photographers, right? Well, I used to. Uh -huh. At this point I only work with Quay. Why? I was gonna say some dumb shit, but you can I, say the dumb shit. We love the dumb shit. Alright, so lot. I've known Quay since college. I was actually a photographer in college too. Quay used to shit on me. It got to the point where it was just like, alright. Well, I just started shooting with Quay and it's just camera quality's always been the best. Eyes always been the best. He's always super cool. I shit on you, what do you say? He'd be like, you be oh, shooting no, that no, bitch no, on no. auto. <laughs> like, no, if you put both of our pictures together, 
That's all. You shoot on so, auto, right? Uh, I don't even remember what the fuck I shot. He, I started out shooting on auto. He started out like that. I think. Oh I'm pretty wow, sure I did. Wow. I'm pretty sure I did wow, all this auto. This man started out shooting auto, bro. Yeah. He was flaming the auto. He you shot it off with the auto. You gotta yeah. start somewhere. He went manual quick. I know he used to shoot with. It was a Canon. 60. 60. Yep. I think it's been what? Like it's been a good 13, yeah, 14 yeah, years. Bro. I got my first camera at 21. From when you started shooting, when did you start getting paid for gigs? How many like free shoots did you do? I did I, I my only free shoots were my my passion projects. I didn't really have too many free shoots. The second I started putting out content, like people was ready to book. I did the free shoots. <laughs> he did the free shoots. I had to do the freebies. How how long did it go from like starting your photography career to like it being like your full time gig? I did that out the gate, kind of like the last job I worked was at McDonald's. I worked there for ten months my senior year in high school. After that, I went to college. I didn't have a camera my first year. Got my first camera when I turned twenty one. <laughs> Just been that since then. What's the one tip of advice you have for somebody that wants to be like a creative? Just keep learning. Teach yourself as much as you can. Don't wait for opportunities yeah. like create them yourself. In this segment of the vlog, I'm gonna show you the real Atlanta money glitch. A lot of you guys always be saying like, oh, you know the Superline tagline. You know we stay giving y'all free game. Guess what? Here's the fucking truth. It's not really free because what we're doing is essentially we're giving you stuff that people would package in books or eBooks or whatever. And in exchange, we're accumulating your data. And your data at the end of the day means a lot. And I'm gonna show you exactly what it means. When we do those factory giveaways or all those, essentially what we're doing is, is we're giving you this information in exchange for your email or the ability to text you. I'm going to show you. So we just got these jerseys in. Oh, you know what? It was a great transition because I just took them photos and we're using them to show you the infinite money glitch. First, it's going to start with the photos. Be on the screen somewhere right here. That's the thing about this fucking nerd shit, dog. It takes so much fucking nerd work. Resizing your PNG, JPEG, like, bruh. So right now, what I'm doing is I'm optimizing the photos so that this bitch will send. Essentially, the file that I have is too big. I have to re-shrink it down. All right, once we optimize it, as you can see, it looks good. Now I just gotta come up with something catchy. Start your summer drop with these boxy jerseys. Emojis always sell. This is my cool guy, Nick, so we'll do the sunglass emoji. We'll watch it together. It's my job to keep these guys busy. Watch the infinite money glitch together. Look, so we just sent out a text. It's gonna send out right about now. So everyone should be getting a text right right now. The text should be sending. Where's the infinite money glitch? Come on. Did you get a text, Joseph? Did I get a text? Yeah. yeah. You didn't get a text yet? Did you get a text? No. Attentive. You guys need to get your service better. I scheduled it for 350, and right now it's 350. You got an email? No, no, no. The, the email, yeah, that's another way, but the text, I really want to show you the power of the text. Because I sent an email prior to this, we have 360 visitors. So just think about this store right now having 360 people looking through the products. Crazy, right? But now you're about to see the infinite money glitch with the text. All right, see, so we just got the text. Boom. Damn, I'm dyslexic as fuck. I spelled it wrong. Start summer drop with these $12 boxy jerseys. Start your summer drop. Fuck. So we just sent that to like 10,000 people. You see, now look at the infinite money glitch. We went from 300 people, we're at 450, 500, 600. This is 600 people on the website right now doubled in like a second a second 600 people on the website right now off of one text message right now we have 95 active carts and we have 26 people checking out right now this is live real time 700 people this is with bad grammar and everything i rushed it i always rush it i'm sorry and this is also without plays product photos these guys i need to keep them busy so that we keep the motion flowing so this is like a very rushed rendition of it we have 700 people live now 104 active carts 26 people are checking out moral of the story accumulate data think about it this way you know how there's like real estate this is land like this is somebody's building i'm renting this building and somebody owns this building think about that same sort of concept for the digital world your instagram followers that is certain amount of land that you own your email list that's another part of land that you own your text message list that's another land that you own and the bigger those numbers get the more land you own and essentially the more land you own the more money you can revenue and generate because you can retarget them with ads of your products so don't always think that yo i always got to get a sale sometimes bro you could be giving out free shit all the time this YouTube show that you're watching right now, this is actually a charity business. This is not a profitable business right now. We are not making as much money on AdSense and brand deals than it takes to like produce the show. But guess what? I'm investing into the show and I'm investing into you viewers because if you watch the show seven times, 10 times, chances are you're gonna sign up for our email list. And then when I need the money glitch to happen, I click the button. Hopefully the grammar will be correct and you'll buy something. It's not always just about, yo, let me get that transaction today. You gotta warm up the oven. Now we had uh, 800 live viewers. In the last five minutes, we got over 10 orders. And probably what people are doing right now is they checking out in the next hour we should have anywhere from like 50 to 100 orders just off of one text blast and you gotta remember i rushed it i did it at 4 p.m we really could have done it at like 6 or 8 o'clock and it would have been way better but yeah that's the summary on the infinite money glitch cut to the montage of us fucking shipping out these orders now 
All right, guys, we're in the process of editing the video. It felt a little weird because I wanted to show you guys the numbers. Before we sent out the text message, we were at 13,000 in sales. After the text message, we ended the day with $42,000 in sales. So that's an additional, what, 30 racks in sales off of one message. So the Atlanta Infinite Money Glitch, it's a real thing, but it's not about scamming. It's about building trust with your customers so that way when you show them new product, they're gonna purchase. Don't forget that. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap it up. I know it's a crazy episode. I don't know what went on in this episode, but hopefully in the next episode, we'll get to see Nate Robinson and fucking Chris right. Paul over here. Poop it up. The ball go over the rim type shit. Yeah, you know, because I, you see the muscles. We're going to have the see parlay. The parlay for yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll have uh, prize picks. Prize picks. You over, know? under. Super picks. Uh, four points. Over, over, under. Super whole We'll have picks. it up. Yeah. We'll have it up. We'll take your money too. Right. We'll, we'll take all bets. Take all bets. Most of the points, so. though. On my team. Brown versus yellow. Coming to you soon. Hopefully we don't get canceled before it comes out. <laughs> <laughs> it's not racially charged, guys. It's, uh, you know, it's just how it, you know. It's not racially charged. Alright, let's go. <laughs> I know you. That's your favorite part of the game.